What's up guys, so uh, news coming out of Cape Town City that was announced a couple of hours ago actually. Um, Cape Town City have announced the signing of Darren Keat. Oh man, I think this is a solid business. I think it's a very good signing. I, t I gotta tell you, I have to give credit to Cape Town City as well because many times when they've made signings, majority of these signings, I've never sat back and been like, why him? Or why that signing? I've, I've never had questions in my mind and they're very good at doing the, the deals that they're doing in the market and I have to give them credit for that as well because once they do it, at the time that they make the signing, it makes sense. And I'm like, oh, I see the strategy. I'm like, ah, I see, I see what y'all are doing. And to get Darren Keat is absolutely amazing. If Darren Keat is anything like what we remember him to be, He's a very good goalkeeper. His ability got him to play in Europe as well. Let's not forget that. He came back. He trained with Cape Moya. I'm sure he was trying to keep fit. But now he's gone into Cape Town City. And I think this is the perfect replacement for Peter Levenberg. If you're talking about keeper ability, you're still keeping it here. You're keeping it high still. So I got to give it up to Cape Town City in terms of the way that they do business as well. And how they just keep it so hush hush sometimes, you know. And uh, and nothing as well as that Dan Keith has got time on his side as a goalkeeper keeper you can play up until you 40 and he's only 31 32 so he's still got time on his hands as well and he's won stuff in south africa too let's not forget that and he's given brilliant performances for bafana bafana but cape town city darren keith makes sense brilliant business